Today in the Rescue Zoo, we are going to take a closer look at the new otters that arrived a few months back. They were surplus animals from another zoo, so we're also going to have a conversation about why we are still officially a traditional zoo and a rescue zoo, and how that makes us be able to mix and match our rescue animals that might be sitting alone with the surplus animals sitting around the world. We're also going to have a talk with Lena, one of our keepers, about volunteers work in the rescue zoo. So, let's just get started with today's Play Rescue episode. Here in the rescue zoo, we had an older rescue otter, almost completely blind, living on his own. He's a very special guy that had learned to use his surroundings to hear and see for him, and he always holds this little rock close to him that we can see he uses like a walking stick. He hits the rock towards different surfaces to kind of feel like where he is, and he also uses it as sort of a security blanket we can see, always keeping it close. Otters are well known for using rocks to smash open shells to eat, but we can see that he uses the rock in a bit of a different way, as we can see he holds onto it extra close all the time. So let's talk about the new group of otters. We already had the older male, and the two new females were much younger than him, so that already created a great group dynamic, where they started to accept each other really, really well very quickly. They are already sleeping together, swimming together, eating together, and everything is just going great so far. But over the next period of time, we will be keeping an extra close eye on how they get along if they should start fighting, or if they're just gonna keep having a great group dynamic and hierarchy. Next up, let's talk a bit about why we're still officially a zoo. The reason why we're still officially a zoo and a rescue center is because we are first of all able to be open to the public so we can educate through first-hand experiences with the animals about conservation, nature, and our amazing rescue animals. Another reason is because we are part of breeding programs with the most rare species like the cotton top tamarinds. And we have actually also been part of breeding programs with the small clawed otters. Lastly, we are also a traditional zoo because that way we can collaborate through the world with other zoos and see if they might have single animals sitting in surplus that might be put down if they don't get a new home. That way, when we have an older rescue animals like our otter male, we can then see if another zoo has animals sitting alone, like in this case where we could mix and match rescue animals with surplus animals and create a new group and give them a good and happy life here in the rescue zoo. Next up, we are talking about volunteers here at the rescue zoo. Because when you do have 600 animals living here, and uh, a lot of mouths to feed and a lot of poop to be uh, scraped up. Sometimes getting an extra helping hand is an amazing thing and uh, that's why we take in volunteers now and then. And uh, this week we have had a volunteer help uh, some of the keepers. So we are meeting up with Lena and she's talking a bit about, you know, what a volunteer is helping with and what that means to her day now that she gets some extra time to spend with the animals. Hi Lena. Hi. Hi. I have heard that we have been so lucky this week that here in the rescue zoo we had a volunteer. Yes, we have been uh, very lucky to have a volunteer this week. So she's been helping us out a lot with uh, making food for the monkeys and get some cleaning done with some of the monkeys as well. So uh, I assume when we have 600 animals here at the rescue zoo, it's always nice to get an extra helping hand. And uh... it's a it's a really nice thing. Every day we try to get we get around, of course, to all the animals uh, but when we have extra help in it's uh, always great because then we can get uh, more done as keeper lena is saying extra hands means more time for the animals every single day the keepers clean for hours and the more we can get helping hands on the major tasks like the cleaning the more time we can spend on the animals the volunteers cannot work directly with our rescue animals, because it needs to be from the professional educated keepers with experience in rescue animals to be able to tackle the major task that it is to rehabilitate and work with abused rescue animals. But it's still a great experience for the volunteers who want to become zookeepers themselves one day. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's play rescue episode about our daily lives in the rescue zoo. And if you did, hit that subscribe button so you can get more stories about our daily lives here in the rescue zoo. It was Nico here, guys. Take care.